Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to make a video about what I consider to be one of the most important things on the spiritual path. Okay, and that is to not to be arrogant or proud, to understand and deal and look with your pride and arrogance. Okay, that you know everything, that you're better than others, that you're above, that you know more, that you just do, you're just better, you're, you're, you're more intelligent in whatever ways you think you are, you're, you're, more, you're more brighter, you're more wiser, you're more sophisticated, you're, you're somehow above or beyond other people. And what I'm shifting towards in the opposite sense is a sense of because that makes you feel closed to learning. So what I'm shifting towards is to being open, um, to being receptive to learning, to being to being humble, to being like the Tao Te Ching, um, like Lao Tzu would say, be like the valley instead of instead of the top of the mountains. Be small, let things flow to you, allow others, allow yourself to be beneath and in, in, not in, in, in a literal way where you're actually below or worse than anybody but l be able to look up to others in a sense of ad not that you're below but in a sense of admiration and respect and love and honor and integrity and I think this is also very important in relationships like romantic relationships and also very important overall relationships if you're like let's say living with your family or if you're living with other, any other people whatsoever a community in a house if you have a family or people you're working with, people in the shop, people you work with and um, people who in the community. So you want to be able to fit in, in a sense where your heart is open. We're talking about having an open heart and an open mind here because when you're like a bit like Forrest Gump, the best quality, that's what Forrest Gump the film is about. It's about the best qualities of um, the simpleton. And in spiritual history, they talk about stories of the, the simple person and how amazing and um, how amazing they really are because they have a beginner's mind like the Buddhists say in Buddhism and um, you need to be able to know you don't know everything and you're always the student but you're always also a teacher of other people but well, we don't even have to try hard to be a teacher but obviously sometimes we can impart our knowledge and gifts so we can't be a teacher too like a, a teacher role but we're also the student and the student role so it's about balance, where everything is about balance. Um, and it's about naturalness. So when you become unnatural, that's when you start to force and strain and things become very difficult and imbalanced <laughs> because nature is balanced. It naturally, ecosystems are naturally balanced and self-sustain and equalize and e e have an equilibrium, equilibrize. <laughs> So, it's very important to um, to be able to admit you're wrong. Like that's that's sort of the, what another part of the crunch of this video. I'm saying, you need to be able to easily admit that you're wrong and say sorry, um, and know you're not some sort of spectacular thing that doesn't make mistakes like a robot. You're a human being and a divine being. You're physical and you're spiritual, just like the yin and the yang, just like the left and the right, just like the balance of too much and too little, or two things, or even multi-faceted, to put it pretty simply and pretty accurately, spiritual beings that are eternal and physical temporary beings that are solid and temporary, <laughs> at least they appear solid. So to be able to just admit you're wrong and then stay open and to learn from your mistakes and from other people is crunch and critical in spiritual growth. Um, this ties in with the whole, what I'd say is the number one most important thing in spirituality and that's self-honesty. Because astral traveling for me isn't spiritual. Like all of these things that exist isn't the spiritual path. You could be anybody and taking drugs, hallucinogenics and then being a dick in real life, you know, you can be an irresponsible, immature party pooper and person who just lets loose energy and doesn't say sorry or take ownership or responsibility. 
Um, so self-honesty is, is the most important thing in spiritual path and spiritual growth for me. Self-honesty is about looking at yourself and being honest. Where do you go wrong and where do you go right? What are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? It's not just about looking at your weaknesses, it's about looking at your strengths. It's about owning your strengths and owning your brilliance. It's owning your beauty, your divinity and your physicality, the two things, and celebrating them in you and looking at others and, and um, knowing that they are good, awesome, lovely, divine beings and physical human beings before the pain and the hurt set in and before they get confused and stop being self-honest. <laughs> and uh, it's, not, it's not black or white. Like, sometimes we're honest and sometimes we're not honest. So it's all about ratios it's all about balance and degrees or ratios because we're no one's like all bad or all good in the physical sense the spiritual sense we're all good in the physical sense we've got things to work on and improve opportunities that's part of the game of life so it's not about judging yourself or judging others like it's not about condemning yourself but yeah being honest with yourself yeah it's about analyzing and reflecting yourself and life that's what self-honesty is about. It's about owning the positive and owning and acknowledging the, the negative. Or the my spiritual life is about reflection on my own behavior and my own energy, my own emotions, my own thoughts, my own day, my own life. What's going on? Am I getting what I want in the, as in my true heart's desires? Am I getting the fulfillment and satisfaction of the life that I truly want? And if I'm not, why haven't I? Or why haven't I manifested it? So you have to be honest. What's your What's your blocks? What's your limiting beliefs? Um, what's holding you back? Um, why are your relationships screwed up? Possibly, do you have bad feelings towards other people? If so, why? What are your beliefs? What are your thoughts? What thoughts? What heart thoughts? Or what closed heart thoughts? Are coming from you so are you viewing people as a friend as like a, like I think it's very beneficial to view people as either a child or a baby and yourself too and that's why we sometimes we're confused or hurt or lost and we act up but you have to learn then to switch your thoughts to remember the good in people don't just keep recycling the, the bad thing that you or someone else did over and over you have to look at the good things that you or another person has done and get a get the bigger perspective and love and appreciate and open your heart again where you have sensitivity and a tenderness of love care compassion friendship and togetherness with this person it's very important togetherness so you're not your enemy but you're with them and you want them to be happy. I think one of the most important things you could ever do is actually to want other person to be happy. And I don't mean to the neglect and abandonment of your own needs, true hearts, desires, and um, what, you, what, what you need and really truly heart desire. It's not about self-neglect or abandonment, but it's very important to um, want and focus and intend and wish from your heart that another person becomes happy as a result of you and their life so that changes your whole energy all of this stuff that i'm saying and you need to apply this to yourself too where you practice self-love and self-happiness or self-joy to make you be happy and joyful and satisfied and fulfilled because you love yourself and you're focusing on self-happiness but also then to focus on, on other people not to the neglect or abandonment of your own needs and desires but simply to the fulfillment of their contentment feeling safe warm happy and valued loved appreciated respected so ask yourself this is what self-honesty is about Are, is your behavior reflecting positive virtues and qualities where you're actually living up in the physical world to your spiritual ideals so it's about um, coming together the to spiritual ideals with the physical behavior synchronized in the real physical world um, so that that means like doing physical things like for for example 
it could be if you're let's say you're visiting your parents house it could be doing something very simple like keeping the place clean or tidy or something that's really important to them and because different things are important to different people we need not neglect other, what's very important to other people and we don't want to be immature or irresponsible and leaving place a mess and this could be your workplace as well you want to be attentive and mature and grown up and responsible as a man or a woman and as a spiritual being and so there's no point in talking about spirituality forever and then you just do something that's continually pissing off other people who you love and they think that you don't respect love or care for them or appreciate them or whatever or value them you keep blatantly doing something that's like annoying or upsetting or off-putting to them um, so there's no need to self-judge, there's no need to self-condemn we can just simply go closer and align same way if you owe money, you should like pay back the money You know, even if you just set up a standing order or pay back regularly it shows effort and it shows alignment with spirituality with physicality nobody's perfect so we all have little spots we're working on and we call them opportunities